Today, we're gonna to talk about how to learn how to code and get a job. Jay Kovac 89 asks, I've been studying Java and Python now for about a year and two things became apparent to me. Number one, I hate my job. And number two, I enjoy the feeling I get when I struggle with a problem and then finally solve it. I feel like a lot of beginner to career stories I see are people being overly modest about their abilities before starting programming. I've looked into a few bootcamp programs and I see two major advantages. Number one, they present material in an organized way. And number two, they assume a good portion of the responsibility for helping you to find a job. I think having a guided learning experience will be beneficial. However, I'm concerned with spending several thousand dollars and then having the program bail on me in no better position than when I started. So this is a long post and just want to talk about it and make a few disclaimers in right, at, right away. First off, I own a boot camp and so you're asking about boot camps. So I don't want to make this a, an overt commercial for what we do. So having said that, the thing that interests me most about your post is that you hate your job and I totally get that. Software development and being a software developer, as you've come to realize, is probably one of the greatest careers that we have right now. Um, it gives you a lot of economic freedom. In fact, I call it the economic mobilizer where you can, you have, you get paid in a way above average wage. You can work in any city that you want. And then when you get in a bad environment, you can like move around and leave real easily. So you're very highly mobile. And so since you have that, you're probably thinking this, and I've noticed that um, you said you like to solve problems, or you like to sit there and try to solve something hours over and hours, which is a key skill or a key, key desire for us as programmers that we do. You're probably thinking that you're meant for something more or you wanna do more or you'd like to get more out of your career and the thing that you're doing doesn't scratch that itch or it doesn't feel that motivation. And so for me, that is where we get to when we when we undertake learning software development at later in age and maybe not something at an early age is that I want to do more with my life. I want to build things, create things, solve problems. And that's a key component to what you're going to do. And um, so I'm really excited about that you're there. And so I think if you're there at that point, then looking at a boot camp isn't a crazy idea as you might think. Um, this is a very legitimate industry and it's very easy for someone like you to learn. Having said that, what we do at Coder Foundry is we test each and every candidate that comes in. And that test tells us if during a 12 week period or a six month period, can you learn software development? Do you think in that way? And uh, my, my gut feeling without ever meeting you I don't know where you live, I don't know your background, but my gut feeling is if you like to solve problems every day and you do that with other things, you're probably gonna do well on this test. And if you do well on this test, um, then you sh probably should undertake learning software development as a career choice. Now, let's look at the next part of your question. And and you're right, I think your, your intuition about boot camps is right, is that they do present um, information in an organized way. Now, I can't speak for every boot camp on the market. I only can speak for Coder Foundry. But for the most part, I would say that we all have a curriculum, we all have a course that we follow in an organized way that leads you to a certain path. Now, at Coder Foundry, we teach um, full stack web development. So here's the first thing you need to do when you're looking at your learning journey. And we give this out on our five steps to being a software developer. Um, the first thing you need to do is look at a stack. So it looks like you're trying to learn a couple of different things that aren't entirely related. And so what you want to do is whittle that down to a stack, which is a stack is a language, a set of tools to build a specific thing. We teach full stack web development. Um, we use the .NET stack or the .NET framework, which includes C Sharp, Visual Studio, SQL, JavaScript, HTML. We put all those together so you can build web applications. Now, full stack web dev is the fastest growing job in America, period. That's why we teach it. Because our job and what you want, and I can hear what you want, is like you hate your job. You want a new career. So a boot camp should be career focused and it should lead you down that path. Now, the question is that you're asking yourself is how do I learn all of this stuff? How do I get there? And so what you can get from a boot camp, and this is the type of boot camp you pick is very important here. It should be what we call immersive learning. So immersive learning means that you go to a class, 
you sit in a physical chair, you, and the instructor is right there in front of you. And this is critical because what we believe is everyone needs a teacher, a mentor, or a coach. Um, even if you look at professional athletes, these people have coaches. If you look at Tom Brady as a quarterback for the New England Patriots, he has a fitness coach. He has a nutrition coach. Does he know all this stuff? Yes. But the coach keeps him on his path. It keeps him encouraged when he's down. And this is what a teacher will do. A good teacher at a boot camp will not let you quit when you hit the first syntax problem. Tell you, oh, it's just a bracket or it's just a semicolon. You can overcome those things. He will also remove the barriers that you may have in your own mind. When, and the, we see this in the boot camp a lot where people get stuck on different things. The instructor is there to overcome those stuck points to keep you moving forward, to keep the momentum going so that you always feel like you're learning and progressing. And that's what a full-time or a part-time immersive boot camp will do. And at Coder Founder, you can do it either way. You can do it for 12 weeks full-time, which is eight to five every day, or you can keep your day job and you can go three days a week um, and do it over six months. Um, but either way, when you're in class, you have that coach, that teacher, that mentor in front of you explaining the thing, sometimes two, three, four, five times, instead of you just watching a video presenting the information in one way. And that one way may not resonate with you. And you might say, yeah, I get that, but can you go into further about this topic or this thing? I don't quite understand what you mean by that. And that's what happens with purely online schools is sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. And when you don't get it, you can ask in an immersive environment, you can ask that teacher, hey, what does this mean? Or I don't understand this or I'm stuck here. And they can overcome those barriers and you learn a lot quicker and it sticks with you more. So now that we've talked a little bit about immersive learning, the next thing I want to tell you is this. It's like, what should I expect from my bootcamp? How do I evaluate these programs? How do I do that? Again, I'm at Coder Foundry, and so we teach a certain way. And you can see this in our five steps to a job dev. But here's the things broadly, whether you go to our school or someone else's, or even if you went to a college to get a CS degree, this is what you'll need at the end of that program. The first thing you'll need is a portfolio. And so at any boot camp worth its salt, they're going to be building you a portfolio during that coursework. So in the portfolio must be tightly put together, not a loose collection of examples and hello world projects, but a portfolio of, of projects that solve business problems. So at Coder Foundry, for example, we have a blog that we write from scratch, which involves a UI, um, some business functions and a database. We also have a bug tracker, which allows you to do issue tracking like you would see from Jira or something like that. And then finally, we also have a financial portal, which allows you to manage your household expenses and those kind of things. All of those projects involve a database, authorization, authentication, and they, they're very, what I would call business ready applications that you can show to an employer that, that will say, okay, if you can build that, you can work here. The second thing you're going to need is interview skills. You need to learn how to pitch the portfolio to the employer. And what we tell every student here is take your portfolio and first show it to the employer at the beginning of the interview so that they'll talk about your portfolio so that you can answer more and better technical questions. Um, we go in more details in another video, but basically you need to learn to talk about your code instead of answering what we call code trivia during the interview process. And all you do is show them portfolio and write, relate their technical questions to the problems and the methods that you use to solve that in your business professional project. And then finally is the real hot button with, with boot camps and college in general is, am I gonna get a job? The whole reason you're here is like, am I gonna get employed or am I gonna spend a lot of money and I'm still back at my dead end job? At Coder Founder, we have job placement services, which means that we actually have a real recruiter that's working with businesses and we do fee-based placements. And that sets us apart uniquely across the industry. Not very many boot camps, if any, have a full-time recruiting staff that's actually placing you into jobs, much like any recruiters would do. But let's say they just have job assistance. So job assistance is, hey, here's some jobs you may want to apply for. Um, let's say that you go to a boot camp and you've got your portfolio, you've got your interview skills, and what you're scared of is they're going to bail on you. But let's say that in the worst case scenario, they bail on you. The school really doesn't have job assistance. They really don't have job placement services. What do you do now? 
the, here's the secret to this, that you need to work with recruiters. And you may not know this. Recruiters absolutely 100% want to talk to you, especially if you have a portfolio and you have interview skills. If your school doesn't provide you a job placement or anything like that, you can get that on your own for free by talking to Tech Systems or Robert Half or any of these large recruiting firms or even some local recruiting firms and they will help you with your job search. And if you do these three things, get a portfolio, learn how to talk about it, and work with recruiters, you're well on your way to making the bootcamp experience work for you. So I hope this helps out and good luck and keep coding.